Richards is a huge fan favorite on Bravo's The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And now she has a new project about a housewife closer to home, her own mom, and her upbringing in the very glamorous 1970s Beverly Hills. You see, she comes from a famous family. It is a scripted dramedy called American Women, Woman, American Woman. And Mina Suvari is one of the show's leading ladies. We will speak with both of them live in just a moment, but first, watch this. Kyle Richards has been acting since she was just four years old, appearing in more than 100 TV shows and films, including Halloween. You may know her best as one of the original cast members of Bravo's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. In this town, fame and money come and go, but friends should not. An aunt to Paris and Nikki Hilton, Kyle is used to the limelight, but she's now stepping behind the lens as co-executive producer of a new dramedy, American Woman, on Paramount Network. The show, inspired by Kyle's own mom, Kathleen Richards, centers around a strong, single mom raising her daughters in Los Angeles in the 1970s. Starring Alicia Silverstone, Jennifer Bartels, and Mina Suvari. You know, women can start businesses. These friends are independent women in a decade not yet ready for them. Kathleen, you look lovely. Thank you. But where's Greg? He couldn't make it. He's in New York. Well, give him my best, if you would. I will. Good to see you. Good to see you. Robert Redford's publicist. This party just got 60% more interesting. I told you this was a big deal. Please welcome Kyle Richards and Mina Suvari. <laughs> Got the drinks all ready? Okay. Sorry, it's very tight with our 1970s furniture. Oh, look at this, uh, uh, cocktails. We knew you were coming. <laughs> How about this? Hi. All right, so I, I've seen the first two episodes and I loved it. I loved Thank them. You. Yeah, it makes me happy. Honestly, I was like, okay, out of respect for Kyle and I, wa I want to see this. And I was, I couldn't get enough of them and I, w I wanted them to release more to me. Yes, um, I'd love to hear that. So what, one of the things I loved about it is it's a period piece, really, set in the 1970s, which, you know, I think we're the same age, just about, right? I, I was mean, born in I'm 1970. Not... Okay, yes. Okay, you, you, enough yeah. said. <laughs> um, but it, the way, like, the set design and the hair, your hair in the show is Perfection. Yeah, I miss it. And the, but there's a lot of pieces in there. <laughs> yeah. And the costumes, like, how did you capture that glamour of Beverly Hills 1970s? You know, we really wanted to make it so that you felt like you were in the 70s, not like, you know, you're watching like a, a costume party or something. So everything was like, you know, vintage and just authentic. And it was everything from the cars to the hair, the makeup, even the jewelry. So it was a really important part of making the show. This is loosely based on your life. It's not an actual documentary. Inspired by, yes. Yeah, it's exactly. not a memoir type thing. No. Uh, but your mom is really the centerpiece and yes. her and her friends. And Mina, you, you play, I guess, one of your mom's friends is how we should put it. Exactly. Um, and why? Why did you want to write something about your mother? You know, my mom, um, well, first of all, I, 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 it's a love letter to my mom, really, but my mom was a very strong, um, outspoken woman. And in that time, women weren't supposed to be like that. Now it's like, oh, boss lady, you know, that was a, that's a term now. But in the 70s, if you were strong and opinionated and outspoken, you know, it was looked down upon. And my mom um, was that woman, very strong. And I did not have a conventional life growing up at all. Um, in addition to being a child actor, it was just a very different upbringing. So... You know, when my mom passed away, I was reflecting a lot, and I loved to write, so I would write stories about her and my growing up, and I thought, I really want to make this into a TV show one day. So, um, yeah, now we're really here. It really shows the <laughs> play, because you think in the 1970s, it's not exactly the 1950s, right? I mean, we forget. But the, the, your mom's character in the show finds out in the first episode that her husband, your dad, yes. was cheating on her, mm -hmm. and she's left with this huge question of what life now entails. How, how could it look? How could I support myself? I can't even balance a checkbook. Uh, that actually did happen in your family. Yeah, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, at that time, my mom was all of a sudden suddenly single, and she didn't know about m money or what they had, and she didn't even have a checkbook. 
So um, when I was actually 10 years old, my mom got me a checkbook, and I was allowed to have my unemployment checks from my TV shows. And she opened a checking account for me because she wanted me to take control and learn from a young age how to look after myself because she didn't like finding herself in that position in the 70s. Because so. you so started important. as a child actor, so did your sister Kim Richards, Escape to Witch Mountain, one of my favorite movies of all time when I was a child. My, my kids are watching it now. <laughs> and you got started in acting very young as well and, and came up came of age in Hollywood. So what is it like, in a way, you're kind of talking about your own childhood, your own life, like growing up as a child in this weird world out there, right, where things are so topsy-turvy. It is strange, yeah. I mean, I did my first commercial when I was seven, but then um, I sort of went into child modeling a little bit, and then I moved out to Los Angeles right before I was 15 and then started acting again. And then, of course, American Pie and American Beauty. And a lot of American for yeah. you. That's right, American <laughs> Woman. Yeah, right? I like to make it easy for people to find me. <laughs> That's smart. All right, so there's much more to discuss, which we're going to get to um, after the break. We'll talk about, uh, well, there's a lot. Stay tuned. <laughs> and we're back now with Kyle Richards and Mina Suvari talking about their new show, American Woman. It's on the Paramount Channel, which you can find if you just Google it and, and find out where your local listing is. And it's inspired by Kyle's mom's life and her own childhood in the 1970s and one of the things you see when you watch it is what a different time there were no rules that's what i love about the 70s right forget the music and the clothing which is amazing there were just no rules i mean we, we were laughing because you know growing up we'd be flopping around the back seat. no one wore seat belts you there know no car seats no one knew about rolling up the windows <laughs> and cigarettes no nothing nope. i wouldn't even like drive three feet in my driveway without porsche being in our booster and she's in the fourth grade <laughs> right and then you talk about how you were actually driving the car at age 13, 13 yeah. and your mom was like just go slow on the highway yeah. I mean, we had to get to work. What can I tell you, you know? <laughs> she was the original momager. I, I, yeah, you know, that uh, wasn't a term then, but I guess, you know, people keep asking me that now. She was. She was our manager growing up. Because yeah. you've got your sister, who's a favorite, very successful actress. Yeah. And she was Kathy, the, Kim, and we were all And Kathy wound and up marrying uh, Hilton. She's yeah. Kathy Hilton, Paris's and Nikki's mom. <laughs> She's not in favor of the series, I guess. There's a, there's some rift there. Is that going to heal or work itself out? I mean, you know, all families go through stuff. So, you know, we, we're sisters. We love each other. But um, she hasn't seen the show, so I'm excited for her to see it. And, you know, actually, because it, it is inspired by it. It's not, you know, autobiographical. Yeah. So she'll see that. Yeah, you, you can yeah. make that point. People can understand that the real life, is, as fun as it may have been, may not have been quite saucy enough. Um, I want to oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, it was. But one of the themes that you're, you're tackling is feminism, really, yes. in the 1970s, and how women were diminished and women weren't paid the same and women weren't seen the same. And there's um, the other lead tries to get a job in her um, agency, and, and the response from the boss is, well, there's a man who's applied for it, and he's got a family to mm -hmm. support. Exactly. Um, what do you make of that? I mean, do you, is this one of the things that attracted you to it, Mina, or what? Um, well, I mean, I think really just uh, the whole concept of the show really attracted me. And it wasn't just the time period, but it being female-centric and a dramedy, a space I've always wanted to work in for a long time, the people behind it. Um, obviously been a huge fan of Kyle's for a long time. And so all of that, you know, gave me the, the passion to want to be a part of it. Um, but that was something that was really interesting for me to experience. And I definitely had a lot of moments of catching myself, um, you know, on set thinking about the subject matter and what these characters were having to experience and reflecting upon my own life and, you know, using that as a comparison because, you know, I, I, I've never had that personal experience. It made me think a lot about my mother and what she possibly had, you know, gone through. You, and have you never had, you've never, I mean, it's hard to believe that you grew, you grew up in Hollywood and were never harassed I mean, or... Not, I not that. I mean, in the sense of I've always felt very independent. I incorporated in 2000. Like, I've always had the ability to, you know, buy something for myself if I want or be independent in, you know, in, in my choices in that sense. Um, but, uh, but no, there's many other instances for sure. Um, yeah, because in the, in the show, it makes it clear. It was just rampant. Well, you know, it was around every corner. And no matter whether you're a housewife or a working woman, it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we're dealing with so many, we've come so far and yet we really haven't. When you watch the show, it's so relevant even today. Yeah. The things we're dealing with. So, you know, whether, whether it's equal pay or, you know, whatever. It's it's not easy being a single mom, whether you're in well, the 70s you know, or today, you know. You know that saying, we've come a long way, baby, and I've said all along, like, eh, not that eh, far. Not that not, far. Not, 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 not long enough. We have, a, we have a long way to go. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, forgive me, but I have. I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about Kevin Spacey getting swept up in the Me Too movement. Mm. So many of us know you from American Beauty, that iconic film mm -hmm. of which he was a major part and you were a major part what was it like for you to see him outed I mean I think with everything that I've been seeing that everyone's been going through it's um it's shocking it's really heart-wrenching I you know for me having the opportunity to work on American Beauty was something that was so special and so beautiful and I was so young and literally grateful to have a job and to be working with such, um, uh, you know, um, experienced uh, individuals. And everyone on that set, because I was so young and green and new to this, was wonderful to me. And I had, I had a beautiful experience working on that film. Um, for me, it's very important to focus on um, the conversation that's happening and, and the healing uh, the victims, you know, the, 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 the right thing that needs to come out of this. And that's sort of what I try to hope for and, and focus on the most that it, Good. you know, is, is something that, uh, we're truly changing and moving out of. You know? and honestly, in a way, this show is kind of part of that. I, I love its messaging and I love, love, love the background, the acting, the script. It's it's an elevated program in a way that's really fun. Thank oh, you. Oh, so happy. Thank yeah, you. It, seriously, it's hard to find Paramount Channel. I didn't know what that was, with all due respect. Paramount Network. Paramount, Paramount, Paramount Network. Network. Yes. It used to be Spike TV. Anyway, just Google it, and it'll show you where your local listing <laughs> yeah. is. You can check it, it out. Find it it premieres this it. Thursday, <laughs> okay? It premieres this Thursday on Paramount Network. All the best to you both. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you. be right back. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.